Well, getting ready to go out. It's the uh, second weekend of the season, October 6th, uh, Saturday evening. So, getting ready to go out. It's pretty hot, so I don't know how it'll be, but hopefully something nice will come in. Had my eye on a pretty nice buck. Is one of the better deer I've ever seen out here. He, we've seen several trail cam pictures of him, but I haven't seen him in person yet, so not sure exactly how big he is. I just know he's a pretty good sized deer. I think he's an eight point, but he may have a couple stickers that are borderline big enough, so not quite sure. But uh, he's a real nice deer. That's the one that got my eye on. And uh, if, luck, if we get a little lucky, maybe he'll come out this evening and give us a good shot. So go ahead and get ready and head out that way. Peter goes off in about an hour. And uh, we'll see how it goes.
All right, well, we found him. As you can see, uh, he probably ran 75 to 100 yards. Blood trail was real sparse until the last few yards, but uh, we stumbled across him. I hit him pretty good right in that knuckle, and it went through, hit the offside leg, and broke my arrow. And uh, I guess the exit wound wasn't too too big, so it wasn't a lot of blood. But but a uh, nice deer. He'll only score as an eight point. He's got a couple of these little little kicker here, and almost got a ninth point there. But but uh, for sure the biggest eight point I ever killed, and I'm hoping. There might be a chance he might be the biggest deer I ever killed, so we'll see. We'll have to put the tape to him tonight and see. I'm pretty sure he'll make Pope and Young, but uh, hoping he can maybe beat my best at 133. So we'll see. He's a huge body deer. That protein's definitely been working. Hadn't showed up. Well, it showed up a little in the antlers, but mostly in the body so far. Our deer are just huge bodies right now. They almost look like they're in rut, and it's his first weekend in October kind of kind of neat but uh anyway another good deer from dripping springs